Children, here we go. Moms, you're going to love this. Children, obey your parents, both mom and dad, not just mom, not just dad, plural, parents, parental guardians in your home, another way to say that, in everything. Not just in the things you like them to say, not just when they say things that you agree with, but even when you disagree with them, even when you think they're not worthy or they're completely wrong. Children, obey your parents. And the word obey there is actually a very complicated Greek word that means do everything they say. <laughs> it's actually not that complicated. It just means, it's literally uh, hupo akuo. The word akuo is the word for hear, and the word upo is under, so it's, it's hear under. So when you hear what they say, do it. That's the instance of the term, obey. Children, do what your parents say. Listen to what they say. And when you hear the words coming out of their mouth, do exactly what those words ask of you. For, because this pleases the Lord. So you're not just doing this for your mom and dad. You're not doing it because they're so special or wonderful. You're doing it because it pleases the Lord Jesus. And then there's a word to fathers. Fathers, or you could include mothers in this. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. And that word lest is really, it's a henna clause. You might just think of it provoking them unto discouragement. Pro, to, to relate with your child in such a way that you cause them to lose heart. So dads, don't, don't do that. Children obey, dads, don't discourage. Two commands, two different people, same goal. And the, same, the goal is, the parenting goal, according to scripture, at least Colossians chapter three, is to so raise your children that they learn how to live under authority without breaking their spirit in the process. That's the goal of parenting, which is crazy to some of our culture. For some of us in our culture, maybe not in West Texas, maybe in West Texas, I don't know, to some degree, but the idea that you would have any kind of restrictions or expectations on your children is just crazy. They, they would see it as some kind of form of child abuse and scripture would say the opposite. It's actually not child abuse. It's your main goal as a parent. Your main goal is to teach your children how to live under authority. And as you're teaching them that, your goal is to not break their spirit in the process. Don't discourage them. Look at what he says in Ephesians. Basically the same thing, but we get a little more insight. Ephesians chapter four I'm sorry, Ephesians chapter six, Ephesians chapter six, verses one to four. Again, children, obey your parents. Same word, hupo akuo, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And then instead of telling them it pleases the Lord, he gives them a selfish motivation. He quotes Exodus chapter 20, verse 12, and he says, honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. In other words, if, if you will cooperate with your parents and them trying to help you live under authority, you're gonna win in life. You're gonna be successful. Your ability to be successful, to experience wins in life is dependent on how well you're able to live under authority. So, Honor your mom and dad. They're trying to help you live under authority. Honor them, help them in that process and it'll go well with you. And then again to fathers in verse four. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. So Colossians was about discouragement. Now Ephesians says don't provoke them to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. And so again, two different, individ two different groups, two different commands, same goal. The goal is to train children so that they learn to live under authority and to not break their spirit in the process. And there's two different ways you can break their spirit. You can break their spirit by causing them to become angry. You can break their spirit by causing them to become discouraged. But your goal is to help them learn to live under authority. And your two tools are discipline and instruction. Discipline and instruction. If you have to put, a, a, put a Colossians and Ephesians together, that's the, that's the main idea.